All right, this one's a little bit different from our normal ones. We just got invited along to the launch of the new CRF 450RL, and it's sick. Honda Australia invited us along to the launch of the CRF 450RL along with Daryl Beatty Adventure Tours and a couple of journos, Damo from ADV Life and Dylan Ruddy from bikesales.com.au. It's a really good loop here in the, uh, in the scenic room area. So we'll leave uh, Tambourine Mountain. We'll do some bitumen, run down into the Condamine Gorge, down into Kalani and a few little back roads all the way into Tenerfield. And then the afternoon on that beautiful granite country, the storms have been through last night and this morning and uh, we'll run around into deep water for the night and uh, tomorrow will be a new day but some different tracks all the way back to Mount Tambourine. If I'm honest 13 year old me would be absolutely losing his brain right about now. Not because of the Sierra 450 RL, that thing wasn't around, but Daryl Beatty. Daryl's an absolute legend. He was winning 500cc Grand Prix races all around the world back in the early 90s before moving on to commentating for Channel 10 and RPM. Now he's turned his hand to operating adventure tours all around Australia. So the 450RL for adventure stuff for what we do with Daryl Beatty Adventures, remembering as well we run a support truck so we sort of sit in that happy medium where we provide the customer which is awesome for still having fun compared to the standard model which that is there that's completely stock on what we do we run a uh, three gallon tank from the US from IMS um, it gives you roughly a bit over 200 K range and depending on what you do whether that's in the bush or the deep sand in the desert that range varies a lot but you generally get over 200 K's uh, out of that tank which is good for what we do um, we changed the seat which we're going to change on this one we run a, a little bit different seat we run an exhaust system and we run a vortex ignition so it just livens them up a fair bit takes a restriction out As you can see, everyone's got little rags, cleaning goggles. Um, it was probably a bit too much. The storm's pretty heavy, heavy going, but now the, the roads are mint, as you can see. The heaps of crossings through here, so it's fun. It's been closed for a while, so it's back over, which is super good. Especially uh, when you get up around that 100k mark, but um, overall it's a, it's a fun little thing and uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to get into some more dirt and uh, see how it goes. I like that we've got the three bikes here. So we've got the standard bike and then we've got the deer restricted and then we've got deer restricted with the pipe. I think the deer restricted one is the best for most people. Um, but the one with the pipe is really nice in how it smooths out the power. And it also um, hasn't got that sort of a jittery take off the bottom. So for me, I'd go the FMF deer restricted. That's a great fun package. Um, anyone from like a learner uh, the restricted model would be absolutely perfect and the good thing about that is then you can build on it. So you buy your bike 
and you keep that bike and you build on it as you get better and more experienced riding you add things to it to take you further and take you a little bit faster and um, taking on more technical stuff so it's a really interesting bike that grows with you Basically, a new version of the CRF 450L that we've run at Daryl Beard Adventures the last three seasons. Um, the excitement for us was really just it's proven from the X, which we originally ran, just the, the distance and longevity we were getting out of maintenance, less maintenance. Um, the RRL is just a step up from that for us. So um, we'll continue to run it in our in our Cape York tours, our Simpson Desert tours. And I think for you guys here as well, testing all three, it sort of gives you a bit of an idea on what you can buy, especially if you're a lambs rider starting out and the progress you can make and just, you can make it for yourself really um, and do whatever, depending on if you do little adventures, weekend adventures, long adventures. So yeah, it's, um, it's good for us, step up, new model. These bikes have been fantastic and what I really appreciate about this test is that we've had three bikes to ride and one being stock, one being slightly modified and one being more modified, not completely modified, but it gives you a range of a scope of what you can actually do on this bike. And it starts with the beginner and it ends with someone like us who've got more experience riding and adventure riding and absolutely enjoying it. I can hear a cow expressing his joy for this same bike at the moment. FMF, ladies and gentlemen, brings it to life. So you start with your lambs bike, it's a basic restricted bike and it feels like a beginner's bike. You take that, uh, de-restrict it, put the larger tank on it, you've got greater range and you've progressed as a rider. But then when you even get better, you can put that FMF pipe on there, it smooths out the compression braking, it gives you a bit more mid-range push as well and it sounds fantastic. And there you've got a bike that's taking you from the beginning right to a bike that can take you just about down near anywhere and I think that's a brilliant concept. Um, I'm pretty impressed. At first I was a little bit skeptical about where this bike fitted into the market because it's obviously not an enduro bike um, and trail bikes are a little bit of a funny thing for some people but um, I think I'll, this bike's going to find a little bit of favour with the adventure crowd. Um, we've got a completely stock model over there which um, which is a good thing for learners and, and beginner riders, um, people that just want to get out in the bush um, you know, without much experience. But we've also got two modified bikes here that are really showing what you can do with this platform. Um, we've got one bike here that's got a bigger tank um, and a de-restricted engine, which uh, makes a hell of a lot of difference. Um, and then we've got one there which has also got a uh, full FMF system on it and also a much comfier seat, um, which absolutely helps um, on those long rides, especially on the tarmac. And I think as a dual sport adventure bike, I think it's gonna be pretty popular with a lot of people. Make sure you jump on ADV Life and bikesales.com.au for their full written reviews. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below and we'll see you in the next one.